there we go and this is my after turmeric mask photo there is a little bit of a yellow tint and there will be so i always advise to maybe do this one over a weekend but it does go away um i just do a face cleanse afterwards and then i wait a little bit splash my face with some cold water see i'm a little bit yellow she's all yellow anyway i just had to say that i've always wanted to say that now i can cross that off the bucket list and then i wait a little bit after i do my face cleanse I usually just do a bit of a rinse off and then I wait a bit till it's dry and I can feel my skin is be, be starting to dry up and then I do a face tone I really do <laughs> sorry about that I really do believe in doing a good old face tone it balances the skin's pH level which is very important I don't know if you can see the yellow but there's still a bit of yellow that's coming off but at least it comes off <laughs> So my skin is definitely glowing after that mask and it looks better, there's a bit more life to it. And then after I do a face tone, I just wait a bit till that's dried again. I don't, you don't do a rinse off after you do a face tone. You leave it as is and you let that sink right into your skin. Do a little bit under the eyes. There is rose water in the face toner. So rose water is also really good for wrinkles and anti-aging. So do that around the area where you are worried about your wrinkles. Me, um, wrinkles here because I smile a lot. And there because I smile a lot. But they are actually not that visible. And I am working on them with my creams that I'm using and I actually have a mark there I think you can see that that mark there that line that's where I fell on the corner of a table when I was about four years old so I can maybe work on that scar but I don't want to because it's a good memory and it makes me different so I don't really care about scars and um, wrinkles that much when they're not that visible but we do want to prevent wrinkles to get worse look at that yellow see it's still coming off quite nicely um, after this i do my face oil which i like to keep in the fridge because it does melt when it's outside and it, when it's in the fridge i like it because um if it's a hot day and you apply it well in the winter you won't have to keep it in the fridge anyway but when it's a hot day and you apply it it feels really cool on the skin and i really enjoy that so i've now added organic marula to my face oil and i am very impressed with that let me just go get that baby so I can actually show you how I would suggest you add um, your face cream because a lot of people just put their cream in between their hands and then they rub it together and then they apply it. Firstly, that's not really that good because you're just spreading bacteria. So always wash your hands before you apply your face oil. I already washed my hands before I started this, so I'm safe. And then I like to... You really don't even need a lot. You, this is how much... I need for my entire face it absorbs oh sorry this it absorbs really well because it's all natural so everything is so easily absorbed into your skin if you have oily skin don't worry about the oil I've made many face oils for ladies with oily skin and they all love their face oil and they all come back for more so there it's it doesn't mean because you have an oily face if you're gonna add a face oil to your skin that you're adding oil on oil on oil which a lot of people seem to believe and i understand it but it's really not like that all natural oils get absorbed so quickly into your skin and um you don't need a lot so i you do need to play around sometimes like with me i have um i'm prone to pimples and breakouts and I have a very sensitive skin so I do have to play around a bit and I'm, I, I have to test all the things so sometimes I do have to see what works for me and what doesn't cause a breakout so I like to you really have to rub by the wrinkles as you can see my dark circles are getting much better if you've seen any of my previous videos or photos and then just rub it in nicely around the eye area let it absorb well help it a bit by just doing a gentle massage it's always good for your skin to massage it because your skin loses elasticity with time so all these goodies inside this new face oil is made to boost that a bit and there we go shine growing beautiful skin don't you think <laughs> 